Josh Sugar, Danny Preble, appreciate the update. Thank you. Well, Perth has a new weapon to protect our borders. It's big, it's expensive, and I've got to say, it looks pretty impressive too. To show us is Scott Cunningham. And Scott, you are on the boat, mate. Are you in charge of our borders now? <laughs> yeah, right, Tim. I feel like I'm on the set of the Sea Patrol or something like that. Now, I tell you what, this is a pretty impressive boat. I was lucky enough to get a bit of a tour around it this morning, but it's no ordinary boat. It's the uh, ACV Cape Nelson. It's the Australian Customs and Border Protection's new tool to keep our borders safe, and it will be off the coast of WA. Now, take a look inside the bridge room. Pretty impressive in here and very high spec. Now, uh, joining me now is the commanding officer, uh, Tim Spencer. And, Tim, thanks for your time this morning. Tell us just how important is this uh, uh, boat? Uh, to what we do in Australia, it's fantastically important, Scott. We're replacing the, the Bay-class boats, which we've had for around about 15 years. So it's been a rolling program. Hopefully by the end of 2015 we'll have replaced all eight of them. Tell us, off, off the coast of WA, what are the things you'll be uh, dealing with? Oh, we deal with a variety of stuff. Traditionally we've worked up the length of the Australian coast, and particularly WA coast, and up the northwest. We deal often with illegal fishing, illegal immigration. Uh, we've worked for a, vi a variety of government agencies, such as the Australian Institute of Marine Science out at Scott National Reef. Pretty impressive boat. I mean, tell us about it. Well, she's just over 58 metres long. We've got a range of around about 4,000 nautical miles. We've got a crew of 18. I've now got the capacity to stay at sea for out to 36 days, which is up from the, the 22 days we had previously. And the bridge in here, it's all, hap all happening in here this morning? It is. This is the, this is the nerve centre. It's uh, technologically very advanced for what we do. Tim, the uh, naming of the boat will happen today and no doubt a, a bottle of champagne uh, smashed on the hull. Uh, there'll be another two weeks of uh, intense training before they get out on the water and making our borders safe, Tim. What about the Cunningham for a name, Scott? It's got a nice ring to it. Oh, the Cunningham. I think they should rename it the Cunningham. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Good on you, Scott. Thank you.